Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more- I just got interrupted. Pete, nobody interrupts my intros. How dare you do such a thing? Wait, you put a delivery in my mailbox? Oh, you're the postman! Well, the postman is the real superhero of the American- I mean, the real superhero of the Palestinian people. Sounds like I'm saying Palestinian people. Um, but if you're the postman, it is perfectly fine. And when I have mail, the blinking sign will show that we have it. That's how you know how. All right, well, he's gonna get moving. See you later. Pete, I like you. You will not die by the net of my almighty net that I've yet to hit anyone with. You will not be the first. So we get some mail right here, and... Sorry about that. I got briefly interrupted. So, uh, I want to check my mail really quick. And we actually have a pretty important letter here before we head off to Town Hall. Unknown sender. To Emil, congrats on your newfound mayorhood. To be honest, I was supposed to become the mayor, and one thing led to another, and now it's all up to you. I'm rooting for you. Keep it a secret. Hmm... Maybe we'll find out who that was, maybe we won't. Who knows? But, uh, also before we head off to Town Hall, I think it'd be kinda nice if we kept Isabel waiting for a few moments just to check out our awesome new house. Yeah, they remodeled- they remodeled our tent into a house and paved down concrete below it while we were sleeping in the tent. That is some talented construction work right there. Oh, Isabel's here. Sorry to intrude, Mayor. I see your house is all finished. Congratulations. The lumber smell from the new house is so nice, isn't it? That reminds me, I brought over some wallpaper to celebrate your new home. Here you go. So, she tells us to go to Town Hall, only for her to come to us, and then give us something for free again. Isabel, you are the best secretary ever. It's almost like she's trying to, like, keep us distracted with something. Who knows what her real plans might be. Hmm. I'm starting to grow a little suspicious of how nice she is. But she's just saying that we can hang up wallpaper and we can also change the carpet. That is the only real new thing that we get from having a house over a tent, yeah. If you don't care about carpet and wallpaper, you might as well just stay with the tent, I'll say that much. So, let's see. When inside your house, you can press the D-pad to change the camera angle in the room. You can also zoom in and out and change the point of view. Now, there are actually other benefits to having a house. We don't really get to see them right away, but you do want to expand, even if you don't care about carpet and wallpaper. So what I'm saying there is not completely true. And wow, I almost burped right there. See you, Isabel. So, our house. Uh, we have wooden floors, we have some wallpaper, and, well, we have a light switch now, so we don't need to press A on individual lights to turn them on and off. Very nice addition. We can also swivel the camera any which way now, which is really, really nice. Other Animal Crossing games didn't let you go all directions around. Probably because they were too lazy to put polygons on the backside of a lot of furniture. Well, actually, no, they... I, I guess they could tell the game to not load those polygons if they're faced away from the camera, so maybe it's a way to save them polygons, like, in real time. I don't know. But... Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and hang up this wallpaper. Isabel will always give you a paw print wall. And I did not mean to hit place on the ground. Let me pick that up. Okay. <laughs> Spread it as a carpet on the floor. Your wallpaper has just become a carpet. She will always give you the paw print wall. How fitting, a yellow pattern with paw prints. I wonder if she made it herself. <laughs> so, yeah, this is what we got. And, hmm, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I might like to display in this house. I don't think so. All those fish, those bugs, and those fossils are going to be important today, just like I said they would be. So, let's not waste any more time, let's not dilly-dally any further. How about we head on over to Town Hall? And, you know, I just realized I never finished my intro, so I will do that while we're heading over there. Yesterday on Animal Crossing, we came to a new town that we had never been to with no money at all in our pocket, with the intention of moving into a place with no vacancies. Seemed like a good idea at the time. And today, we are going to be heading to Town Hall and talking to Isabel to see what she needs us to do for our meryl duties. She said to sit in the chair in the back, so we shall- Ooh. I like my office suite here. I got a bonsai tree. And ooh, any fan of Animal Crossing should know who that is. Rest in peace. <laughs> okay, no, he's not dead, but you know what I mean. Oh, Merry Meal. Have you settled in and finished unpacking? Uh, yeah, I suppose so. Well enough, at least. Wow, really? You must be really efficient when it comes to moving. Yeah, I unpacked my, like, no items that I brought with me in a day. And full of unpacked cardboard boxes, and it feels like I moved so long ago. Sorry, please don't tell my brother that I don't let him into my room just for this reason. Her brother, huh? Um, <laughs> right. I was going to tell you about the town hall. First of all, for starters, where I usually stand is a service counter. It's the hub for all pallet info. 
At the service counter, I'll state request to change the town tune or flag design. This is actually what I needed your guys' submissions for yesterday, so that's going to be coming into play in a little bit. Oh yeah, I can also provide information about citizen satisfaction. And of course, I always welcome direct input from our great mayor. However, to get advice or provide input, you'll need to stand at the counter just like everybody else. I don't feel as special now. I can't go bending the rules just because you're the mayor after all. Actually, you probably could. Now then, moving on to your responsibility as mayor. Ah, I almost forgot! She does that a lot. Before you can start laying out your vision for you need a town development permit. Getting the permit takes a bit of work, but don't worry, I'll help you out. That's what I'm here for. Uh, you sound pretty busy. Me? Busy? Don't worry about it. I got a whole hour of sleep last night, so I'm just raring to go! You're scaring me. Oh well, look, your mayoral instincts must be really good because you're already sitting in the mayor's chair. When you want to work on official mayoral business, just sit in the chair and I'll help you out. And come see me when I'm not overly busy so I can get started on your town development permits. Okay. Actually, it took me a second to realize I need to sit back down in the chair, so I cut that out just because it was a little bit of a waste of time. So, prerequisites for the permits. We need to own a house. Okay. I already got that. So that's one benefit of actually upgrading from the tent. And then we need to gain approval of the citizens. In order to gauge citizen approval, I'll regularly survey the townswalk to see what they think of you. The best way to raise your approval rating is to improve the town and the lives of those who live here. Now, according to preliminary survey, your current approval rating is 15%. So in other words, only Stinky likes me. He did say he was my fan yesterday, so... The law requires that all applicants have 100% approval rating. Wow, could you imagine if real elections worked like this? We would never have a president, ever. Like, we just wouldn't have a government if you needed 100% approval rating to get elected. I mean, people say that getting like 60% I think is what it is for presidential election is hard enough. Man, this is absolutely, like 60% of electoral votes is ridiculous for president enough. Could you imagine that? We would never get 100% approval rating. Just like, it's it's crazy. I, I don't really get what, why the rules of Animal Crossing function like that, but they do. So, we need to do things for the town. You need to improve the lives of people that live here, and you need to do good things. And, well, there is a certain person who is... Ooh, it's not person, though, but animal. A certain animal who seems to be a bit of a hermit living very far away from all the other animals. So, how about we go over and see them? Oh, oh, what is this? Shari. Okay. I don't actually know who that is. Don't spoil it for me, as well. I actually would like to see that. Uh, just blind. I don't really like looking up villagers if I don't know who they are. And wow, we got mushrooms already. We got uh, weeds pull. Actually, that's another thing. Uh, every day, you will have weeds spread in your town. You need to keep on top of them, or the town can become overcome with weeds. And well, people get less happy. Pulling weeds is a way to raise citizen satisfaction as well. And it seems that Pango is the, uh, or Pongo, I should say, is the lonely hermit that lives here all by yourself. I don't believe we've seen the inside of her house yet, so... Adventure time! Not bad. I, I do like how she has like a Botoid right here. Uh, these are actually gyroids. We don't get these quite yet. Uh, There's something that you can dig up later. But Pengo! Oh, it's you, Emil. I love visitors in the afternoon, Snoof. What's up? Uh, let's chat, you Snoofer. Hey, you have a house now, right? Well, congrats to you. Now it's time to make your home truly all about you, Emil. If you need things for your new home, visit Nookling Junction. For close, head to the Able Sisters. I love going all the places on Main Street so often since the sales changes daily. That's interesting and all, but do you have anything for us to do? Would you like for us to do anything? Uh, oh, betting the famous pallet peach yet. They're totally tasty. It's easy to shake fruit from the tree and just press A. Pick up the fruit, press Y. You didn't pick up anything off the ground. Oh, you want to make some quick cash, you can sell fruit at retail. Uh, it's actually kind of funny that she brings that up. Remember how I said that I was going to have some letters written for the animals before we got started today? Well, I actually did that. If you saw my inventory back when we opened up that letter from the unknown sender. And well, what I did was, I wrote a letter to Pongo, <laughs> and if I may show the letter, I actually do say that we should swap fruit. This is a very important thing to do early on. You can get all kinds of fruit for your town by writing letters to animals and basically saying, let's swap fruit. You need to use similar wording to that, not exactly, but it's helpful if you use similar wording to it. Um, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and attach this peach to this letter to Pongo and give her a little present. Yeah, from a tree right outside of her house, yeah. I am a wonderful, wonderful friend. I totally am. But, before we do anything else, our inventory is rather full. And, the thing is, is, you saw me attach a present to a letter right there. I could just use my letters as inventory space, and a lot of people recommend you do that, because you get 10 spaces of letters, effectively increasing your inventory space from, uh, let's see, from, uh, 16 spaces to 26. But, I don't want to do that. Instead, I'd like to go and my inventory, but on the way, oh, no. Didn't mean to do that. Sorry, you were the first victim of my net, and you seem like a very, very nice duck. I don't want to do anything. Okay, so, what do you got to say? 
Over time, you'll wind up with a lot of things you don't need anymore. Time you want to pare down, go visit the retail or recycling shop in town. Buy anything, furniture to clothes, to fish, to fruit. I don't need tutorials anymore, guys. I want to get to know you. You all seem like very nice animals. Uh, these trees that we planted yesterday were by the recycling shop. They have sprouted a little bit more now. Uh, let's see if Stinky has anything to say to us. Okay. Hey, uh, hey, Emil. Love this letter. Per letter. Perfect. Learning conditions. Of course, I can't talk normally. I got some things to tell you about tools. Pay attention. First of all, you'll need a net. We know this stuff, Stinky. I don't need to know this. Seriously, I don't need to know any more of this. I already know to go to the Nookling Junction to buy tools. You told all this to me yesterday. I want to get to know you. I want to know why your parents hated you so much and named you Stinky. <laughs> I wish to hear that story one day and mark my words, I will hear it before I die. <laughs> Uh, if we are going to do anything else, I think that we should empty out our inventory. And so our first stop today is going to be the museum. Those fish, those insects, and those fossils that we got yesterday, this is what they're important for. True, you can sell those items, but I like to donate my items to the museum. And while I debated it a little bit, because we're totally not going to be able to fill this up within a month of playing Animal Crossing, I want to do this. I really think it'd be in our best interest to just kind of get this as full as we can, because it adds a bit of personality to the town. So this is Blathers right here. Who, aren't you our new mayor? I'm Blathers, the director of this museum. It is my honor entirely to make your acquaintance. Blathers is everyone's favorite character. I have never met a single person in my life who did not love Blathers, so I'm very happy to see him. Our museum exhibits the, exhibits the very best in archeology, span the natural sciences, and art, fine and otherwise. Who, there I go again, you'll find that each time I open my big 10 words fall out when two will do. I'm the same way, Blathers. I do apologize, I've been trying to get better, but when I have thought that it takes flight, Never mind, let me start over with who fewer words. This museum exhibits insects, fish, assessed fossils, and artwork. The reason? To make palette as great as it can be. But here's our problem, we are, we are currently exhibiting nothing. <laughs> who, it's a tad embarrassing. But perhaps you can help. Hooty who, you can. If you've donated your precious finds to the museum, I would be eternally grateful, as would all of Palette. So, by talking to Blathers, we are actually able to donate a bunch of things at once now. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and donate these fish and these bugs. I probably actually should have done this in the reverse order. You know what? I will. Hoo-hoo! All these are rare fossils not yet found in our museum's collection. What a surprise. Yeah, you just said you're exhibiting nothing, and you th you're surprised at the fact that we have something you don't have. So, we will indeed donate these for pal Palace Cultural Development. So... If you may give these back to me, and if I may get further assistance, I would like to donate every last one of these fossils. Yeah, I can't tell something is a torso of a dinosaur just from looking at it myself. It just looks like a rock to me. I'll go ahead and donate one of each of these unique items that I've collected, and yeah. Now, Blathers, like he said, he stammers on and on about things, but he just kind of says that he'll take them off our hands and really say nothing else about it. In other Animal Crossing games, he would always just, like, give loads and loads of facts about whatever you donated, and he would just kind of ramble on for a while. And a lot of people like this about his character, and we're kind of sad that he doesn't do this anymore. Well, have I got a treat for you? He actually still does do it. It's just that it's not readily apparent, because if you donate multiple items at a time, it would just be way too much if he was always saying things. So, let's head into this very nice, peaceful aquarium that I just love visiting seriously. If you haven't already, just spend some time in your museum. It's so peaceful, and it's just so fulfilling to see everything that you have donated to it all working together. So, if you check this, we can see this bluegill that we donated. If I click on it, we will actually get Blather's description where he has some biological facts about what we have donated. It's actually really cool, and... Yeah, it makes for some nice reads, actually. It kind of is a more fun way of Wikipedia thing, of Wikipediaing things. So, if you ever have, like, a half hour to kill, and you're just kind of alone, you're bored, and, you know, you don't really feel like listening to music, just open up your Animal Crossing town, go check out your museum, because I promise you, it is a surprisingly relaxing time. In fact, I might even have one time where I just go in here and read some of my favorite facts, like I did, like, for the Piclopedia and Pikmin 2. It's just, it's that good. You wouldn't think that it is at first glance, but I like it a lot. So, that does it for the museum, we've emptied out our inventory, but, of course, when you have an empty inventory, it just feels wanting, so how about we check out a store that we have yet to actually check out? Uh, we'll go to the Able Sisters, like we were told to by Pongo. Funny thing, that logo was the same way in the original game, and I always read it as Dablio Sisters as a kid. Yeah, I was that bad at stuff. That bad at reading. Hello, welcome to the handmade fashion place of the Able Sisters. Are you by any chance the mar new Mary everyone's talking about? Oh, everyone in town has been buzzing about you, so you're quite easy to recognize. Really? Only 15% of that buzz was positive, so that makes me feel really great. So, 
What they do is they sell accessories in the accessory shop right next door, they sell clothes in this section of the store, and you can also make some custom designs to put on your clothing, which is kind of nice. And this is actually where that flag idea that I wanted from you guys yesterday is going to be coming into play. We're going to be returning later with that, though, because I'm actually recording this at kind of a weird time. So I can't really do that quite yet. Basically, I record these 24 hours in advance, and the first video has not yet gone up. So for that reason, you kind of, well, I don't have any of your submissions yet because the video hasn't gone up, so I'm going to be doing that this evening. I'm recording these 24 hours in advance just so I have a one-day turnaround period and can upload them on the actual date that it really is. So, that's just kind of my reasoning for doing that. Uh, oh, curly mustache! You bet I want that! I actually wasn't thinking about buying anything else, but you know what? I will spend almost everything I've got to get that, so... I like that tie-dye shirt I picked up, and I sure as hell love that curly mustache I just picked up, so... Time to say goodbye to our default face and our, well, fabulous purple striped shirt. Even though it is kind of unusual to see me not in a striped shirt. There we go, so I'm wearing a tie-dye with a mustache. I'm sure there's some kind of hippie dumb going on there. Um, oh, I'm actually meaning to get one of these in real life, so that <laughs> reminded me of something that I need to go to the store for later. Yay, bringing that up in a video. Like we saw in the last room, you can get umbrellas. They're purely cosmetic, though. They don't serve any actual real purpose. And I should bring up her. Label. You know, it looks like it says LaBelle, but it's actually Label. Um, there's a very deep reason behind why she is pronounced Label, and I want to go into that later, though. I just don't want to talk about that right now. It's actually a bit of an Animal Crossing City Folk spoiler, but I do plan to talk about it at a later time. So, only one porcupine we have yet to talk to, or hedgehog, or whatever they are. Mabel, can you take care of this customer here? Wow, cold, and she won't even talk to us again. You know what? Mark my words, I will make a friend out of you, someday. Mark my words, you will be my friend. But for now, she's just cold to us. So that does it for the Able Sisters, and it begs the question, what else could we do? Well, there were some things at the Nookling Junction that we didn't get to show off yesterday. I wanted to get that fortune cookie that was being sold there, but I didn't have the two play coins to do it. Well, I have the play coins now, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that, just because I want to show what the fortune cookies are like, and it doesn't actually cost any actually any real money, and wow, um... Even though I felt like it went on a little long, I'm really glad I did that thing with Isabel to get the net yesterday, because I would have gotten the fishing rod two days in a row if I didn't. That furniture up there kind of sucks. I'm not really feeling either one of those items, and I don't really feel like they have a good place in our house. So, fortune cookie it is then! We need two play coins for that, I've gotten them, I have five now actually. You can get a limit of ten of these per day, so you should have no trouble affording them. And for getting these fortune cookies, you will get not only a fortune inside, but the ticket inside can be redeemed for a Nintendo item. There's a bunch of different ones that we can get through this way. They're only available through the fortune cookies. And well, I want to do this every single day that we are playing Animal Crossing New Leaf. Because I feel like having a bit of a daily fortune to start off each video would be a really, really cool way that we could just kind of set things into motion, I suppose. That's really all I can say. Words of wisdom are, he who wishes to grow big would be wise to eat his roughage. Eh, sounds like a good way to get little kids to eat their spinach, considering the Popeye's not on the air anymore. Or is it? I don't know. What are you gonna say to me, Timmy? Number 21. Ah, congratulations! Number 21 is a super mushroom! Alright, that's definitely going in our house a little bit later. Alright, there we go. First Nintendo item. I could have gotten one yesterday if I would have shaken my 3DS up and down 200 times, but I didn't feel like it. What is next, you might ask? Well, there is yet another place here on Main Street that we have yet to explore, and I want to take the time to go there. The post office. What does this place do to you? Not do to you. Do for you. Yeah, the post office is gonna do something to me. I am so afraid. <laughs> Well, obviously you can mail letters to it. You can mail it to animals, or you can mail it to yourself at a later point, or other human players that happen to live in your town. I'm going to be flashing my letters on screen right now, just to kind of show you what I've written, because I don't want to waste time just kind of reading text that I have written. So if you want to pause the video and see what I've written, uh, I tried to put enough personality into each of these, so yeah, go ahead and enjoy those. That pretty much does it. So, the postal worker. This is the, uh lovely sidekick of the superhero of the Palatinian people. What can I help you with today? I would like to send some mail. Now, you get some other things like save mail and ask for a present, and all those things are actually pretty important. Uh, saving mail, if you have more than 10 letters that you wish to uh, hang on to, you can just use that as storage, which is really, really nice. Just kind of drag these into the bin, and there you go. We can mail off those letters, and the mail is delivered promptly at 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. each and every day. So if you want to know when animals are going to receive letters, that is exactly when. The asking for a present option is actually something really, really cool. You connect to the internet, and you will get DLC items that are being distributed at that point in time. 
As of right now, there are a few getting distributed. One from your home, one from Nintendo Zones. Um, waiting to see which one it actually is. Let's see. Autumn Leaf Chair, not bad. I'm going to flash on screen right here what the item getting distributed at Nintendo Zones right now is in North America. Because I don't know what it is off the top of my head. So hopefully that'll be helpful to you. I do plan on showing that a bit later. That is it for that. So we are all done here at the post office. Now... Is there anything else left for us to do at all? We've shown all the different areas on Main Street. Well, welcome, welcome! Oh my goodness, it's a meal! Okay, now that was a bit too much. So, our home has been built, and yes, all four squares of a house is the stuff of dreams. Now for the numbers, here it comes. I objected to not payment leave a grand total of... 39,800 bells! That's total amount of your little paltry loan. A mere trifle, really, yes? Hmm? Oh no, you don't need to pay me directly. Please make all your payments at the post office ABD. And there is no set schedule either. Pay the loan at your own pace whenever you're able to, hmm? Yes, yes, one more thing. We do require that all homeowners become members of the Happy Home Academy, hmm? I don't mean to pick apart every little thing, but let me break down what he's saying. They're gonna get an inspection, looking at the room, the furniture, and the layout. They're gonna do this at nighttime. Presumably while we are sleeping. Just because they have the keys or something like that. And we might get a commemorative of elegant prize, but they schedule the inspection. Yeah, sounds totally safe. Just like constructing a house around the bed that I was sleeping in while I was still inside of it. I don't know how Nook does it, but this guy rubs me the wrong way sometimes. I like him, he's cute and everything like that, but you know what I mean. It's just so strange. But as I should mention what all this stuff is here at Nook's Homes, you can customize just about every part of the exterior of your house, but not all this is available for us to customize yet. Plus, it's kind of expensive, so I don't want to spend money on it yet. I actually do need to get going for a little bit, so I'm gonna take off for a bit, and I'll meet you guys back in town. Oh, the bulletin board! I haven't actually talked about this yet. This is one of two ways that you're gonna find out what's new in town. The other one is gonna be going over to the town plaza. We haven't really had anything huge happen yet, but things like holidays are gonna get mentioned. I'm gonna catch you right now. Even though I don't need another monarch butterfly, I'm gonna do it. So, uh, there's a few things that we have yet to do today that I did yesterday. One of which being finding the money rock and getting the money from that, because we're gonna need a lot of bells to pay off the loan on our home. And oh, hey, the tree grew a little bit. Um, okay, maybe I can stop interrupting myself. Actually, no, I can't. There are weeds right here. Every day in Animal Crossing, you will have weeds grow in your town. They will add up over time if you have not done it. And, well, that's actually relevant to what I'm... Can I get out what I want to say? I find another mushroom item. I'm just too darn lucky. Okay. There are a bunch of things that you're going to be doing every single day in Animal Crossing that are always going to be the same. Like looking for the money rock, looking for the rock with the ore in it, uh, digging up the fossils because you get new ones every single day that appear in the underground. And just for things like that... Now that I've shown them once, I want to start something called the morning routine. Basically, anything like that in Animal Crossing that is the exact same every day and it gets monotonous, unless there's some kind of new mechanic that we've gotten into for it, I just am going to have you guys assume that I have done it before the video starts from here on out. Whenever we add a new item to the morning routine, I will mention it though, so it's not like little features here and there are just going to randomly go missing, but I feel like it's a way that we can make things less monotonous. That's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. Now that we're done with that, we're pretty much free to do whatever we want because we're not going to be getting that town development permit for a while, so we might as well walk around town and talk to animals. Who haven't I talked to today? Oh, Biscuit! Crap, I almost forgot him two days in a row, actually. Uh, yeah, let's go talk to Biscuit because I said I get along with him very well and I would love to show you just how cool he can be. So, let's go do that. Go into his house. I don't believe that we've actually seen it yet, so this is actually another new adventure. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, messy much. Oh, he's got a flat screen TV that we can actually watch. Uh, these TV programs are actually something really, really important. I'll go over, like, what different TV programs mean a bit later, though. I'd like to actually own my own TV before doing that. Ah, who's there? Oh, it's only you. <laughs> You're really stealthy, Emil. I know. My mustache is very stealthy, like a ninja. That's the latest, buddy. I want to show you something. Ready? Check this out. What do you think? How does this outfit look on me? Uh... It's actually kind of making me laugh a little bit, so I'll say great, but not for the reason that he wants. Yay! I'm so glad you think so. Maybe I'll keep this on while I'm shopping. If you're a, real, if you're a clothes horse, too, you should visit the Able Sisters. They have different clothes for sale every day, dog. They got shirts, pants, dresses, clothes in any kind, uh, color and styles. There's even some There's even some that look like food. 
get confused by the names, just remember that T's have a short sleeve and tanks have none. You probably also know what a dress looks like. Maybe I'll see you there sometime, Emil. They actually do sell dresses, and you really can cross-dress in Animal Crossing. So for those of you that want to do it to be funny, or for those of you who want to do that just because, well, that's the kind of person you are, absolutely no problem with that in the world of Animal Crossing. You can cross-dress. Animal cross-dress. <laughs> actually sounds kind of funny when I say it like that. So... I'm gonna go ahead and take a quick break to go and sell all my items because my inventory is full and I've yet to do everything that I want to do today, so let me do that real quick. Everything that I want to sell was worth a whopping 15,650 bells. For those who thought that that loan was astronomical, well, it kind of is for early on, but, you know, just from selling mushrooms and bugs that we didn't need and that gold ore that we got yesterday, I got that much for all that. Oh, actually dug up a new item. That is a pitfall seed, as you see right there. That item has a really fun use. Players of Super Smash Bros. Brawl will actually recognize that item as it appeared there, too. Basically, you bury it in the ground, and, well, if somebody walks over it without digging it up, the ground will collapse out from underneath them. It's like a little trap that you could set. There's actually different types of pitfall seeds that you can find in this particular installment of Animal Crossing. It's a new feature that was added. Everything else that we have to do is just picking fruit, doing stuff like that to make money, and I'll say that you'll enjoy Animal Crossing more when you're not just grinding bells to try to expand everything as quickly as possible. So, if I'm ever gonna have a time where I'm just gonna try to lay back and make money, I probably won't be recording that. I'll probably off-screen that or montage it or something. But, um, we did a lot around the town today. Let's actually see how much approval rating that gained us. Is there something that I wish you can help with? Development permits. All right, how much progress we made? Well, already on a house, 37%. Okay, so it over doubled since we were last here, but we still need quite a way to go. She mentions pulling weeds and stuff like that. However, changing the town tune over at the front desk, giving us a new song to represent our town, will actually improve it. Another way that you can improve it is, well, changing the town flag. And that is where you guys come in. So what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna wait a little bit for the first episodes of Animal Crossing New Leaf to go up, and I'm gonna see what you guys actually submit for the town flag and the town tune, and well, I'll see you back here later tonight. And we're back! So, it is actually quite late compared to how I normally have been recording these. Not late at all for standards of other games, though, so I think I'm raring to go on this. So, first of all, I'd like to show you the temporary flag of Pallet. What do I mean by that? Well, a lot of you guys were asking how much time you're going to have to make a pattern for me, and some of you were saying it would take a very long time. So, I just want to say that I'll give you a deadline extension on this one, and we'll wait a few more days before deciding on a flag, so... Submit your textures away. However, for the time being, I have decided on a town tune that I want to do, so at least one of the things that was submitted will be getting used. And well, what is that town tune? How about you? Take it away, Isabel. Take it to the fridge. I'll show what this looks like on screen right now. This was an original composition by Swag Phillips on Twitter. I've actually seen you tweet to me quite a few times, though, so. Yeah, I know who you are. I decided to go with an original song because even though a lot of you suggested some really great video game music I could have used, it's just kind of like, I think just having an original composition by somebody who was watching these videos is a bit more personalized, I suppose. So that's really the only thing I have to say about that. Now, I have a confession to make. I've actually screwed something up a little bit. I'd like to kind of stare into the starry sky while making this confession to you guys. It's an honest mistake that I made, and I'd really, really like for this to not happen again, and I will do everything I can to make sure it does not. Look at the map on the bottom screen. There is an extra house there. And earlier today, we saw that there was a coming soon sign for a resident moving into town. I was going to be going around town and just kind of doing little things to get money, you know, talking to animals, selling things at the recycling shop, doing stuff like that. Plus, I also had to punch in your guys' town tunes and stuff like that. Thing is, it can be a little bit finicky moving around the notes on the town tune thing on such a small screen like this normal 3DS that I record on. So I got the great idea of go grab my 3DS XL so that I can move about the screen a little bit easier and I can be a bit more precise with putting these town tunes together to see which ones I like. Problem struck when I realized that my 3DS XL's clock is very slightly different from this one. So by popping the cartridge into another system, the game thought that a whole day had passed when it really had not. And yeah, basically the game thinks that we are another day later, even though you can clearly see by the clock down in the corner that we are not. So for that reason, our new neighbor that we saw earlier has actually already moved in. And if it makes you feel better, I actually have not met her yet. So how about we go to meet her? Oh, actually she's right here. Uh, 
Wow, I kind of wish I hadn't met you. Your eyes are creepy. Wow, what a great thing to say to someone you've never met. Hmm. Think that greeting was kind of stiff? I guess I'll have to work on that. You wouldn't happen to be that Emil I've been hearing about, would you? You are? Haha, -ha. I'm in the presence of awesomeness. Hey, don't mind me. I'm just excited to meet you. I moved here because I heard some hotshot was taking over and making Palette the place to be. So, nice to meet you, hotshot. <laughs> okay, uh, let's not talk to her ever again. Well, no, I'm probably gonna have to though because I do like to talk to animals as I see them. So, I think that that is enough for one day. I've actually already checked in with Isabel. We are at 80% approval rating for the development permit. I was not counting to get this within one day by any stretch of the imagination, so I don't really think it's too bad that we're ending the day without getting it because it's tough to get it, not gonna lie. It is not the easiest thing in the world to get the development permit. It does take time, so how about for now? We head into the house and I'll show you what I've done with the place because we got quite a bit of furniture today that I wanted to use and I think I've done something nice. So flick the lights on, there we go. We have this autumn leaf chair that we got over Spot Pass. We have the super mushroom. I love that, that we got from Timmy. And this is the shirt that we came to town in because I changed out my clothes. I thought that we should hang on to it for a little bit longer, you know, just kind of display it in the house. Yeah. Now the very last thing that I want to say is that while I was out getting bells, I actually got quite a few. We were up to 49,000 and I didn't really even play for that long. So for that reason, we're going to be able to pay off the loan for this home pretty dang soon. In fact, I could actually go do it right now if I really wanted to, but hey, how about we save that for tomorrow when Nook is actually awake and we can show off to him. But to the point that I was trying to make, while I was out fishing, I did catch some fish that we hadn't seen before. And this is inevitably going to happen. Whatever I'm just sort of playing off screen, I'm going to run into a bug that I have not caught yet, and I should go catch it because it's rare, and I really should go catch it while it's in my sights. Or... I run into a fish that I've yet to see before, and I'm going to want to catch it. So, for that reason, I have an idea in mind that I could do to show you the fish and bugs that I have caught off screen, but I need to go to sleep to make it happen. Why? You'll see in just a moment. Tomorrow on Animal Crossing New Leaf, we're going to be paying off the loan to this house and showing it off to Nook, as well as hopefully getting that new development permit. Oh, and if it makes you feel better, there's actually another animal that is moving in tomorrow right next to our new neighbor. So we'll have a new animal to meet as well. See you guys then.